I love these Q&A sessions. It's an opportunity to connect with each one of you who have sent us your doubts, your queries and your challenges. Just to make some things clear though, just because you ask the question does not mean that you're the only person going through this issue. Just that you had the courage to speak up and the commitment to make some change. Hopefully, these questions will light the way for the shy ones and a new perspective for those who are going through similar challenges. You never know which spark lights a candle. So welcome to Q&A Awareness Days. I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. Our first question is from Meeta Mohanty from Kolkata. Meeta writes in to ask, why does it take such a long time to clear patterns? I'm so tired of it. When will it end? I'm in the waiting room for so long. Ah, Meeta, I can feel your frustration right here in the depth of my soul. Patterns are just the familiar way we keep retelling the story of our life. Think of it like a movie. You have chosen to see a romedy or a horror or a drama. When you watch the movie, in the movie hall, you will go through all the emotions that you chose to enjoy. But once you are out of the theatre, you don't continue to live on in the emotions, do you? Similarly, you need to look at the events in your life as a playing out of the thoughts. Watch it with detachment. Look at the learnings. Internalize it and then let it go. Letting go of the event is important. We are so energetically attached to the drama that we forget this most important step. So here are the questions you need to ask yourself. I see the patterns. What are they telling me? What do I need to learn from the situation? How will I react the next time this pattern appears? Now, if you react exactly the same way when these patterns first appeared, obviously you've not learnt anything. And remember, you cannot get your next lesson in this university of life unless you learn the current one taskmaster the universe and the final question if i have learned the lesson am i ready to let go or are you so attached and caught up with this movie that you keep running it over and over in your head check it out i am attached to seeing you free so let me know if this helps you the next question is from nandita puri bangalore she asks How do I motivate myself? Most of the times, I feel so demotivated. I read a quote by Zig Ziglar where he says, People often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. Yes, my dear, we are not born either motivated or unmotivated. The clue is in the word. It's a verb. So you have to do something every day to feel motivated. It does not go away by just wishing it away. Having said that, There will be days when you will feel demotivated. Here I find Brian Tracy's advice to eat that frog really works. The frog being the slimiest, dirtiest, most repulsive job. Eat it and it's done. And any action gives you a sense of achievement. And once you've got into the motion, it will be easier to continue. Remember your old science lesson? A body in motion stays in motion. And keep the focus outside of you outside of your disinterest or laziness or procrastination. It's not about you because you know in your heart that there's an impact you need to make in life and in this world and the people who need it most are waiting. Check out this book too, Steve Chandler's 100 Ways to Motivate Yourself. There are some pretty good tips there. Shilpa from Hyderabad asks, I feel so low sometimes no matter what I do. I just feel so listless. I cry buckets, sometimes for days. I walk around with my eyes red and swollen. What do I do to vibrate at a higher frequency? Okay, here's the thing Shilpa. Look up a good psychiatrist and seek medical intervention now. There is no shame in asking for help when you need it. When our bodies are ill, we are willing to visit a doctor. Why not when you feel mentally unwell and unable to cope? Go now. If we have ruled out any medical condition, then I have a few favourites that I keep in my toolbox as an instant mood lifter. Now every emotion lasts for only 7 seconds. 
Yes, it is scientifically proven. So all you need to do is break that cycle of this vicious energy. You need to change the focus. I call them my personal positivity boosters. Keep a happy memory handy. It can be a person, an occasion, a holiday you went for, or even your favorite comfort food. Write it on a piece of paper, keep a photograph on your phone, or a mood lifter in your wallet. When you find yourself caught in this low mood, concentrate on this memory. Feel it, see it, which is why a photograph helps. Taste it, relive it for exactly 10 seconds. And you would have broken the chain. It increases your vibration. Try it and let me know. It works for me every time. And my all-time favorite is, of course, gratitude journaling or expressing gratitude. Instant mood lifter. We have an entire episode on gratitude. Go watch it now. So that's all we have time for this week. Keep writing in. Your love and response keeps us motivated too. Click the subscribe button so that you receive more life hacks right in your inbox. Like, share and tag this video. It helps other people with the same problem and same issues find out these videos and make their big difference. They will thank you for it.